I'm breaking 200. I'm breaking 200. Liquid fast. 10 days. Starting right now. Actually starting last night. 22nd Beth Ogden's gonna take some preliminary promo oh, shots so for me. And the 23rd in the morning. I'm weighing in, which is a week from Wednesday, 10 days. And I'm gonna be breaking 200. I'm breaking 200 pounds. 206.0 this morning. 206 on the nose it is uh, Wednesday, June 15th. Uh, I haven't eaten since Sunday night. It's one way to clear out, clear out your skin. Just take food out. I'm breaking 200 on the 23rd. I don't care how I do it. If I have to chop off a freaking limb. No, it's happening actually. I feel really good actually. I feel like, like <sighs> that euphoric thing. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this uh, liquid juice fast through till the 23rd, which is next. It's eight days from now, I guess. Next Thursday. Well, actually, yeah, pretty much exactly. Yeah, a week from tomorrow. So there you have it. Today is day three. Um, man, I've learned some, some shite about this losing weight on this journey. And, um, I think I've really kind of realized something that's going to really help me on this. Um, I think the fasting thing is going to really help me to take off this last 30 pounds. It's just getting so freaking hard and so slow. It's like, man, forget it. I just can't. I just gotta pick it up somehow and I actually feel good and yesterday I worked out yesterday was my last heavy workout through this I'm not gonna work out I'm not gonna like lift uh, or do anything insane or you know CrossFit or anything while uh, while I'm fasting uh, but yesterday with Kyle we did a monster leg workout it was like really intense man I'm super like whoa this morning stiff legged dead deadlifts and like deep squats I, for the first time I could do deep squats yesterday I mean like the first time ever I was so happy because you know while I'm in hotbox I've been there's certain exercises in the kickboxing that I don't really like and some of them I'm not really good at and some of them just fry me and then it like I can't make it through the class like it, like when they're doing a lot of burpees and bag claps and certain things are just too much so dirt when they when they call up those exercises I just do air squats in the last couple of weeks I've really been focusing on getting way down even I'll even support my body you know with my arms on my knees to even like lighten up the weight to make it even easier but to really get my my butt down deep and uh my sh keeping my shoulders up my head up and not letting my my knees go over the tips of my toes so i've really been working on it and i could see it yesterday um with kyle it, i was able to like go all the way to the bottom man it was crazy and I was able to get through that like sticking point as you're coming up where the, there's that one spot like when you go all the way down you come up about an inch and then there's that zone where like you got to push through and I was able to push through and the thing I've realized too is is it's uh I've had to strengthen my core um because what happens is my core was not strong enough it's still not really strong enough it's getting better but my core not being strong when I would go deep my shoulders would pitch forward like my, everything would kind of dip down like this and then I would like lose my balance it would also put a lot of strain on my back but now that my torso is strong I can like hold myself up uh, better and then yeah and then stiff legged deadlifts are just wow it was really the first time I think I've ever really done them like four sets heavy not heavy but heavy for me anyway I'm just really excited um, I'm ready to step on that scale next Thursday and the first number of my weight to be a one. I don't care if it's 199.9999999998. I just want to see a freaking one. And I went clothes shopping yesterday and I got a pair of 3630s. And... 
you know, the last 10 years, I, I, I did most of my shopping at Target. I had my couple of clothes that I knew that, like, like the Morono 2XLs, like, the shirts would, would look all right on me because the, the, the material was thicker. Like, I would see guys wearing these, like, thin cotton shirts that were kind of tight-fitting, and I was always like, damn, man, how the hell? I wish I could wear something like that, but it just, it's, it was just too revealing. So I had these Morono shirts that were thick, and they were also not too long, because that's the thing when you're, like, really overweight and you're short, you start getting these 2XLs, and it looks like frickin' dresses. It's just way too long. So the Moronos were cool. I mean, I would even actually tailor some of them and have them cut up. So, yeah, I was, like, literally tailoring, like, $7 T-shirts. So what I had was I had, like, 10 of them. They were all black, and I wore the same thing every single day. It wasn't the same exact shirt, but it was the same exact, you know, make, model, and year and the same cut so I had the same thing every day like Einstein you know that was his thing he was like I would use the same clothes every day because then I don't have to expend uh, expel or expend uh, you know mental power on deciding what to wear but it wasn't for it wasn't that for me it was because that was all I had and then what happened was so I'm I'm shopping at Target for the last decade and you know and I've got my like I'm getting my, my Levi's jeans there or shorts or whatever. And about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, it kind of reached the end because the highest they go on waist is 44 or 46. And uh, I, I didn't make it. I, I, got, I got too big and I couldn't get in those. So then I was like, oh no, what am I going to do? Like, I can't even shop at freaking Target. So I never took the plunge and went to the fat man store. I just never bought clothes. I just worked with what I had. As the pants got too big, I had a big fat belt, like a 50 inch belt. And what I would do is I would put the belt on. This is really freaking embarrassing, but it's the truth. I'd put the belt on so that I, and then I wouldn't have to button the button. So the button would be unbuttoned like underneath the belt buckle. And, but then it would kind of keep it all somewhat together. Yeah, so that's where that's where it was at for me, man. It was like I was at the end of like I was at the end of shopping at Target. So yesterday we go to Macy's and try on this pair of thirty six thirty pants, and they totally fit. And I had my boots on, and we went out to Third and Lindsley last night, and went backstage and met the band, and got to hang out with my buddy Micah, and and we went to see. Uh, she's really good. Um, she's like a really intense up and coming country artist. She was like did did uh did uh like Saturday Night Live or Jerry Fallon and all these things. And she's really good. Old, like kinda cool country. Uh Margot Price. And she's my neighbor. So we talked after the show and she's got a little kid so maybe we'll all do some kid bonding. But yeah, it was nice to be backstage and to not feel totally self-conscious like everybody thought I was cool and and I'm blessed I look like a young guy you know I mean I'm 52 years old but I can roll around with because a lot of these guys here in Nashville they're in their 30s look old because they're all like scraggly hair and corn rim glasses and beards and you know they, they don't you know they don't look like kids even the kids don't look like kids out here so it's like it kind of works for me because I come in kind of fresh faced and like clean shaven with my Keith Urban hairdo and a tan and I kind of like I love it's you, man. It's about to crash. It's crashing. Look at that hair. Dude, look at that hair. What? It's a good day to be... It's a good day to be food sober. Day three. Uh, liquid fast. This is the day, man. I am... There is so much toxins and poisons coming out of my body right now. It's just... Whoa. It's just... I'm in... I'm in... I am shot out and I'm in a little bit of pain. But, man, it's, it's all coming out. A lot of cleansing. I was 206.0 this morning. 
It's Wednesday, June something. Next Thursday morning, I am breaking 200 pounds. Non-negotiable. It's weird when you give up food. Good things are happening. That's it. It's uh, Friday, I think June 16th just broke 70 pounds. Wow. I'm going hard. Man, look at this shirt now. now. This is from the new batch of shirts that I bought, and now this is getting too big. I'm going to be able to order the next size down. Look at that. It's been uh, 10 and a half months. I'm down 70 pounds.